What's up YouTube, it's Adam from C1 Do One today. I'm here to share with you five things I think every college freshman should know before they set foot on campus. Let's get started. So this list is by no means comprehensive. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background information about where these tips are coming from, um, I was actually the first one in my family to get a college degree. I didn't necessarily have that same guidance that other people might have had before they went to college, um, but you kind of live and you learn, and um, there are some things that I did right, in my opinion, and there are some things that I wish I would have done differently. So without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so my first tip for you guys is to say yes. Um, it's not quite that simple, and I'll go ahead and explain myself. Um, unfortunately, some people go to school thinking that, you know, I know exactly what I want, I don't want to do anything that I don't think that I will find enjoyable. And to me, that doesn't make much sense because college is actually a time where you're supposed to explore new things that you weren't exposed to previously. New food, new music, um, new friends, new hobbies, art. Um, there are so many opportunities you can have if you just say yes in college. So um, I don't mean say yes to everything, but I do mean that um, when you have new opportunities in front of you, go ahead and take it, uh, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable. And um, take it from me, I was one of those people that was kind of like, uh, you know, a little bit hesitant to do some things, but um, I quickly snapped out of that because I realized how rewarding the experiences were that I hadn't ever tried before. So um, if you need any other reason, take it from me a couple of uh, years out of college. Um, as you get out into the workplace, your social networks actually tend to get a little bit smaller and it's weirder and harder to make friends. So yeah, just say yes to as many potential things as you possibly can. Tip number two for you guys is to get physical. Um, I know some of you guys may have had sports or other activities that you did in high school and I totally encourage you guys to continue those into college. Um, but for those of you that were kind of like me that didn't have a sport that I, I didn't play football I didn't play baseball or basketball. I mean, I did when I was a little kid, but um, I didn't necessarily have anything that I was attached to in terms of sports or anything um, Luckily for you guys, there's a whole bunch of things in college that you can get out and do um, for instance, there's intramural soccer leagues, there's intramural softball, intramural kickball, um, there's Quidditch on some campuses, I don't understand that, but um, if that's your cup of tea, go for it. Um, but um, for instance myself, I actually got into cycling my sophomore year of college, um, and it was incredible. Um, I not only got to make a whole bunch of new friends with cycling, but um, I still cycle today. Um, but it kind of teaches you something you may have not had any familiarity with um, previously. Um, there's a couple of benefits of getting physical in college. Um, one, it really benefits you in terms of keeping you healthy because um, college isn't exactly known for the healthiest habits. Um, that goes for eating and physical activity. Um, but also it really helps you, in my opinion, stay focused. Um, Having something that you know at the end of the day you can go, you can work out, you can exercise, you can go play football with your friends, you can go play soccer with your friends, you can go for a jog. All of those things are a huge boost to your um, mental health uh, in college. Whatever you decide to do, um, pick an activity that gets your heart pumping, pick an activity that gets you out of your chair. You're going to spend a lot of time studying in college. Um, get something to keep you active, keep you healthy, and keep you focused. All right, so my third tip is kind of a more serious note. Um, tip number three is to take school seriously. Um, take it from a person like me. Uh, I, I kind of got through middle school and high school without ever putting a whole lot of effort into it. And I got to college, I kind of wasn't as motivated as I probably should have been. Um, later on, that definitely kind of hindered me um, when I was trying to apply to graduate schools and professional school. Um, so my advice is um, get involved with your classes, go to your professor's office hours. Looking back, even if I put 10% more effort into school, um, it would have benefited me um, significantly when I was applying to graduate schools um, and medical school. If you have that in mind, um, take it seriously now, take it from me, um, it'll help you out in the future. 
Number four is ask questions. Um, this seems kind of like a simple tip, but it's something that I also didn't do in school. Um, later on I did in um, taking some classes um, outside of college and in my graduate school and medical school. But when I started out, I was one of those people that class would finish and I would just go out the door and go into my next class or go back to my dorm to take a nap or something. You pay a lot of money to go to college and your professors earn a decent amount of money to teach you and um, you can actually get a better value for your money, a better value for your time if you ask questions. Um, professors love when you engage with them. They're experts in their field. They have advanced degrees, they have PhDs, they've spent most of their careers um, in the topic they're teaching you. If you're looking for a letter of recommendation later on, they could definitely write one for you if they see that you are interested potentially just by asking a question in class. So um, tip number four, definitely ask questions. The fifth and final tip is to have fun. I know it sounds kind of contradictory to what I was just talking about. It doesn't sound like a lot of fun to be engaged in class and um, asking questions to a professor, taking it seriously. Um, but actually, all of those things can lead to you thoroughly enjoying college. Um, college was one of the best times of my life. Uh, nowhere will you be forced to make so many decisions so quickly. You're figuring out how to live on your own. You're figuring out how to potentially cook for yourself. Um, you're learning to manage money. You're making new friends. You're going to um, experience new things. You're going to change your beliefs, change everything about you. You won't be the same person when you leave college, and that's a good thing. Um, so please enjoy yourself. Um, that's one of the things that I kind of regret. Um, I kind of rushed through college, and I didn't necessarily stop and just kind of take it all in. Like, wow, this is like a really incredible experience. Hopefully you um, take these tips and uh, apply them. I think you will have a leg up on a lot of the other people that maybe um, weren't doing the research like you are right now uh, to get the most out of college in the future. All right, guys, and that wraps up my list of five things I think every incoming freshman should know before they set foot on campus. Uh, let me know what your favorite tip was. Uh, let me know if I missed something. Feel free to drop a comment below. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. I'm going to be making videos on medical school, getting into medical school, how to study in undergrad medical school and graduate school. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, at C121, or give my Facebook page a like. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.